Hey everyone, this is Jordan from LutzLounge.com. Uh, in this quick video, I actually want to show you a issue or a bug uh, that I've been experiencing ever since updating my Final Cut to 10.6.2. Uh, I believe that's the latest update out there. Uh, it's actually an issue with transitions when it comes to any kind of uh, top tier or uh, secondary clips that you want to add a transition to. So what I mean by this is I have this clip right here and I have this uh, text box or text field that I want to be able to put a transition to to make it maybe slide in. Uh, so for example, I would go down here to my where my transitions are. I would go down to uh, movements right here uh, and I would get slide. I would take this and just drag it on top and you can see it does nothing. It doesn't add the transition to either the front or the back. Uh, it, it literally does nothing. I can try the slide again. It does nothing. I can try the rotate. It does nothing. Uh, it just doesn't add the transition. Uh, there's really only two ways right now that I've found to uh, make this work. Uh, number one is you could roll back Final Cut to a previous version, which I don't recommend you do. If, if, you're, if you're like really in a pinch, uh, you know, you kind of just don't want to deal with any more bugs, you can definitely do that. Uh, or you can simply just highlight the clip that you want to add the transition to. Uh, and then go over to where your transition that you want to add and just double click on that transition and it will add it to the front and the back like it normally would. So now when I play the clip, you can see it plays that and it slides in just like that. And it just happens with these secondary clips. Um, you know, this, this one right here, let's say I wanted to add a transition to a clip that was the uh, first clip and the second clip. I can drag it over and it adds no problem like that. So it's it's just really those secondary clips uh, that are on top of your main clip that I've seen it happen to. So so just wanted to give you guys a quick little video showing that if you're having that experience, uh, it definitely has to be a bug with Final Cut Pro uh, and hopefully Apple does get it fixed at some point. So thank you guys for joining me in this video. Uh, if you're looking for more tutorials, uh, more fun uh, cinematic LUTs, stuff like that, head on over to LUTSLounge.com. There's a lot of stuff out there. Uh, and as always, please remember to like and subscribe to the video and I will see you in the next one.